All right, guys, welcome back to Just the Drills. I'm joined once again by Max Cooper. So today we are going to talk about how to get the proper trail arm structure in the backswing, okay? A lot of players struggle with this mechanic and it can really throw off your whole movement. Now, one of the things that we've addressed before is that players think a lot with their lead arm and their lead wrist. So we are going to start looking at what the trail side's doing. Some players are going to benefit from thinking trail side over lead side. I think one of the biggest issues that players get themselves into is trying to keep their lead arm straight the entire backswing instead of feeling everything with their trail arm. On Saturday's video, I talked about lead arm mechanics and if a lot of players are keeping it straight in the backswing, it puts them in a position where A, a lot of players aren't gonna get enough turn, so they're not gonna get enough depth, which can lead to a big over the top move, or they're gonna start matching that up with a lot of extension in the lead wrist, getting the club face open. Now, if you combine that over the top move with an open club face, that's a pretty disastrous shot. So Max here is gonna do one of my favorite drills where he's concentrating on the lead arm. Now, this is going to put you in a position where you get a lot of depth. So go ahead and set up there. Now, Max, you're gonna just lift that club and place it over your trail shoulder, okay? So we're just gonna feel this position right here. Everything's just sitting here. The arms are folded up. Hands are just off the shoulder. Now from here, go ahead and really crank your body. Get a big turn. So club's still here. Now, this is where the important movement comes out of the trail arm. I want you to push your trail arm away from your body, okay? Now that's a pretty solid backswing position that a lot of average golfers are gonna really benefit from finding, okay? That's good turn, that's good depth and you're gonna be able to work down to a golf ball. So let's set up with a golf ball here. Let's do this drill. Why don't you go ahead, get your setup there, okay? Pick that club up over your head. There we go. Turn back, push your trail arm out, boom, go ahead and hit it. So if you're trying to learn how to sequence, that's an amazing drill to put you in a good position every time. Now another drill that's gonna benefit a lot of players is just a trail arm drill. Okay, so Max is gonna demonstrate this here in a second, but a lot of players struggle with this, okay? So if I tell a player to make a one-handed swing, they get in here and they just start immediately collapsing everything and get into a position at the top of the backswing where they're gonna have a difficult time getting to the golf ball. So I want Max to feel as though he's gonna push the trail arm away from his body. This is gonna create a lot of width, keeping the hands wide. It's gonna put you in a position where you're not getting stuck up at the top. Now, after you get up there, we can hit golf balls one-handed. So that's what we're gonna start out with. Go ahead and make a swing for me. So once you get comfortable making those one-handed swings and just pumping them out there and keeping that width in that arm, you're gonna to wanna to concentrate on getting extension in the trail wrist, right? So if we start getting the wrist to curl down this way, we are going to start opening the club face, right? We wanna feel as though we're holding a pizza tray. So go ahead again. I want you to really make this movement pattern here where you get up to the top. Now, he's supporting the club in the palm of his hand here. That's getting the club overly shut. If you're a slicer, that's an amazing feel to have. Now go ahead and get one more ball. After we get comfortable with that, we can go ahead and put ourselves in a realistic position at the top of our backswing. Go ahead and make one-handed swing back. Go ahead and grab that club, okay? So that's a good position. Now, here's something I really want a lot of players to see. Go ahead and do that one more time. Take that back. Now, you'll notice that he doesn't have a full chest turn here, right? If he's going to reach that club, he's gonna have to crank everything back and really get that chest turn. So that's a great feel if you're trying to get more chest turn. Now, go ahead and do that one more time. Let's see you hit that golf ball. Boom, reach back, grab it, turn through. So it's a tough drill, it's a hard one. You're not really worried about contact that much, but if you wanna learn how to sequence everything and get a big turn, that's a great drill for you. So the final drill we're gonna work on if we're gonna get that trail arm in a good position is the split-handed drill. I've talked about this before. I really like it as a good backswing sequencing drill. So Max is gonna set up here. We're, we're just, this is one you can do at home, right? He's gonna get the hand, split them up a little bit more than that. Get that down there, there you go. Now, if we get the lead hand more on top of the club and the trail hand more under, right? Go ahead and take that up to the top. Now, if you notice here, this starts to get this arm folded in, right? It is a great feel for the position we're looking for. And if we get the turn out of the chest we want, that's gonna put it in a perfect position every time at the top. 
So make sure you get your lead hand more on top, trail hand more under, and feel the sequencing of that turn. That's gonna make sure you don't have that flying right elbow that gets really wicked and out, and you're gonna be in a good position to put a good strike on the golf ball every time. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.